The next predator that we are covering is 59-year-old Charles Lawrence. But Charles Lawrence isn't looking to hook up with a 13-year-old girl. He's looking for a boy. Ha! <laughs> Gay! Seriously though, why why is this so needlessly over dramatic? And Tetrid Core. That looks extremely uncomfortable. Lawrence is well educated and apparently very well off. He lives in Fairfield, a jewel of Connecticut's Gold Coast. It would be interesting to see somebody film a show like this in a shithole, you know, somewhere like Derby, that kind of like rundown, terrible area that no one wants to live in, rather than the jewel of Connecticut's Gold Coast. And get this, he lives only 2,000 feet away from our stinghouse, a quarter mile he probably wishes he never traveled. Charles, I know that you're so old that you saw the pyramids under construction, but seriously, you, you wouldn't walk that distance, you lazy dipshit? Now they have the right to search your car, so actually, in a weird way, thank you, you dingus. The conversation quickly becomes sexually charged. I had sex with my ex-girlfriend, nothing with a guy. Gotcha. But you like guys better now? Never tried it, but being with my girlfriend was really awkward. Maybe you need a good teacher. Yeah, you know one? I do. Walter Babst, James Rutherford, Stanley Kent. So then Charles comes to the house and is greeted by the decoy, and fun fact, this decoy did two tours of Afghanistan in 2002 before coming to work for this show, as a 13 year old. Want water? Yeah. yeah. It's not your day been so far. Good, good. Do you need some help, my guy? This this sounds like a bomber plane rather than you just grabbing water from a fridge. Although I suppose you know about bomber planes from your time in the Bosnian War. No, Chris. And if he thinks he's in for a shock, so am I. What are you doing here? Chris is just acting like a teacher here, you know. He's, he's not mad, just disappointed and sad. That this was a fellow I had met on the commuter train years ago. Chris, please. I know, but what, what, you'd have to explain this to Chris, Chris has fully just been the journalism now and the safety precautions here. He just wants to know why an acquaintance of his was trying to put his dick in a child. So the cops arrest and book him. They search his car and find something rather interesting. Cops find cigarettes, condoms, and a gay porn video called Seattle Bareback Boys. I have some research to do. I mean, Chris Hansen is actually, I know him, he's a friend of mine. Not anymore, bitch! Okay, so you, you thought you were being an 18 year old. My eye got scratched, so I can't wear my contacts, so I'm, we I'm wearing these glasses. And I was downstairs you know, having a cup of coffee, and my glasses were upstairs. And I'm, I'm, he's look, you know, I'm looking, I, th I thought he said 18. It says 13. I can't read that. Oh, well, 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 that makes sense, you know. It's a great thing that as an accountant, you don't have to handle sensitive financial documents that require meticulous examination of numbers daily. Clearly, he's innocent. He pleaded guilty, kind of, to three charges and got eight years suspended after serving just two and has to register as a sex offender for life. Well, yeah, well, some would say it's not stiff enough, Chris. 